Hi guys, so we're off the big job this week and we're going to do this uh, little job. It's going to be an oak porch and a nice flagged step for oak to sit on. So I think it's going to be two steps. We've already done a cutout on this concrete because the um, this the outer concrete is going to come up. So we've cut it. So when we get as uh, steps on, we're not going to have the problem of it cracking up when uh, when the concrete is eventually taken out. So that's what we've done there. Let's crack on and get this step built. Well, I've just set a few courses out. So we reckon we're going to have that's where the Post going to go for the oak to go up so we're going to have a step here little step so flags will go there then we'll probably put another wall in here and then second step will go two course high and then this will be a big a big platform at top i think that's what we're going to do that's going to look uh, smart that is we're using old brick as well old house brick where old posts were so brick pillars up there so that's what they are cleaned up right let's crack on so we're doing a little talk over on this video, something a bit different. Um, but yeah, so it had a porch up which were an old porch. And uh, that's why you saw the bricks in the corner when I showed the first video. Because it's actually got foundations down in them corners. So we're using the original so we didn't have to pour more concrete down. So I've just set a brick on this other side. Tim's just got laser. He's going to put it on that end. And um, we can level it through to get a nice level front and then the back of it actually goes higher and it's already set on the concrete um, higher so it's already got the slope in there from where the original step was which has uh, saved us a bit of time and we don't have to put we can just go exactly with the same amount of beds and uh, do it that way I am putting a bigger bed up front because it has got a really big slope on we don't really need it that, that steep so we've just gone a little higher up front just to knock a bit of it out So on this part, I'm just uh, I've just got some wide DPC, and we're just going to put that up the back um, where the door is because it's the steps are actually going to breach the damper. Of course, they're not going to be normally you have to be 150 millimeters, six inch below the DPC, um, which is at the door level. So the step would be very low, and we want it to actually be as high as we can up to this door. So we're going to leave it about two inch below the door, uh, the finished step and uh, put some DPC up the back. I always do this on every job, um, just to give it that bit of extra protection. And then once your flag's on, you get a good lean on your flags. Um, it's just the water's gonna run off and it's not gonna have time to soak into the into the back anyway. But that DPC's there just giving you that bit of extra protection. So that's what I do on a every step job. Even, even if I have got the six inch, I normally just put the DPC in it anyway. Uh, just to stop it um, but the one thing I didn't do uh, these are new doors and the old steps were really high so the guy couldn't get the silicon under the bottom of the door and uh, I was supposed to do this like now and um, I didn't bring my silicon gun or the silicon I just wanted to get the job done so I ended up flagging it and I didn't do that bit so it's gonna be two inch below which I'm going to have to squeeze some silicon in there when I do the oak job um, just to get that covered uh, just in case it snows you know if you get like three inches snow two inch snow and it melts it'll go back under that door so we want to stop that so we'll get some silicon in there eventually and sort that out but yeah I always use DPC um, it is uh, it is worth doing don't take that long at all to do Okay. 
So this part, this is where the first step's going to end. So this is this little wall in. I'm just putting down, these down pretty quick because they're not seen. They're going to be under the flags this course. The second course is going to be seen. We'll probably slow down and just get that right. But this course is pretty much just whack, whack them down um, because they're not going to be seen anyway. We've actually got the gazebo up because uh, it got quite warm this day. <laughs> So we've just got that up just to uh, make it a bit easier. It's good. Uh, we bring it everywhere we as rain or sun. Get it up. Works both ways. It's quite a nice one. I think it cost us £110 and it's really thick. I should show you on one of the videos really. Uh, it's a really good one. Um, really thick as well. The poles are really thick. Um, so it should last us quite a while. Um, but sometimes in winter they blow over and um, yeah, they're not... They're not very good if they blow over they don't last very long but definitely a must-have tool for us we've had them for years uh, just getting one every couple of years um, so you carry on working basically and uh, they do they do earn the money So I'm just, uh, just pointing up where, uh, where it's going to be seen, just a bit of a uh, point, flat point, same as house. But you can sort of see it now, can't you? So we'll fill this in next time after the weekend, flat. And so that'll be his first step there. Go up onto here, and then this will be all flagged at one level, and then his post will be here, straight up. That looks smart, that will. So we're just going to wash up, we'll see you in a minute on Tuesday. Another day, another dollar, get that filled in, get the bricks cleaned and uh, we'll start laying them flags out, let's crack on. Right, we've got a, got a few bricks uh, stacked up. Josh has just put these in for a practice. These jobs are uh, pretty good for uh, letting young'uns have a have a quick go at um, learning how to lay. But we're gonna we've got enough brick now. Tim's just cleaned it last time, so we're just gonna get these in pretty quick now and we'll get on with it. So we're just doing the infilling bricks because that's what we've got left and that have only been put in a skip anyway. But you can do this with uh, hardcore, MOT, whatever you want, fill it in because it's only for flags to go on top. So we just put a slurry mix up at top just to get it nice and uh, get them all filled in for when we flag it. So we just cut them and got them all laid out and then SP out the back of them, got a mix on. Sharp, got some sharp sand, we're going to mix a bit of building sand in with it as well because we've got loads left. And then uh, this is it, we'll get them done. Yeah. Yeah, what's up like there? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty bad on to it, mate. Got a new hammer, seven quid. Seven quid. Seven so we're going level that way, and then it drops down this way, which is already dropping, because brickwork goes down, so we just need bed same thickness, and we're good to go. Oh my god, I got it in here. Good old 
sticky. Uh, got some sticky SBR on my hands. So yeah, we're SBR in the back of them all, all these flags. Um, so it's SBR, bit of water, bit of cement, and a tiny bit of sand just to give it a bit of texture. Um, that's how I feel um, it helps it stick, sticks better doing it that way. And the flag mix is just a four to one mix. Um, four sharp sand and one cement, but we are putting a bit of building sand in uh, just to give it that bit more play, makes it, makes it a bit easier to lay. That's it, so I've just run line across these, line that in, and a line, second step in, just line these two fronts in so they look, uh, to look right when you're looking at it side on. And that's it, we're going to let it dry, tidy up, let it dry, get it pointed tomorrow, jobs are good in. Last one, so I've got, I've put a bit of, this is a four and one mix, and I've just put a bit of, um, SBR in it as well, just to make it stick a bit better. Not a lot. So if you do corners, because these are overhanging, I've got trowel underneath. Just like that, pack it up, and then slide your trowel off that way or that way. And it'll stop in then. And you can do rest. I've got it uh, wettish because we've done all edges as well. We put a big, biggish bed on it so we can get as close to that as possible as door. So I wanted it like a bit wet just so it sticks because any drying I wanted to be able to get it on edges. That's it, we just need to wait a bit now. We'll uh, give it a brush, wipe any stains off with cloth, then we're good to go. And then oak will come then. Uh, Friday, so we've got a couple of days, we're going to go up a job, come back when it oaks in and we'll be able to put porch up. So that's it, all pointed, ready to go, and these, so them pad stones are uh, going to go like that. Like that, and then that's where oak's going to come up. But yeah, I'll get a quick view. We're just going to give it a, a wash in between on, on flags now. So I just thought I'd give you a quick look before uh, before it's covered in water. Uh, I think he's going to seal it. But yeah, so timber's getting, uh, getting sorted for next week. So we'll see you then. See you later. Hope you enjoyed this one guys, something a bit different, me talking of it, let me know if you liked it or not, I can soon shut up. <laughs> but yeah, that's it, make sure you hit the subscribe, give us a like, drop us a comment, see you later.